<laughs> man, I can't make this shit up. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Man, listen, listen. It's your big brother trend, man. Y'all about to turn the volume up today. Y'all about to turn the volume up today. Oh my goodness. These Decepticons is just getting out of hand. They getting out of hand. I don't know what to do at this point. I, I'm thinking about getting buying a damn uh, a whole collection of dump trucks and just going and picking them up and taking their ass to the damn landfill. That's what I'm thinking about doing. I, I don't know what else to do, man. Listen, man. Say it with me one more time, man. Listen. Huh? Stay tuned to the end of this video and you already know I got something very special for you, man. It's your big bro, trend genius. Ooh, this is the time. Listen, I'm going to just be real with you, man. Most of the people that you come in contact with on your journey, all right, while you focused on your vision, you're trying to make the best out of your life. You're trying to do the best you can. Most of the people that you come in contact with, they're going to be slow. They're going to be slow. See, see, they're going to be slow, like slow, like EC education has been confusing to them. They're not smart, folks. They're not smart. They're not intelligent like you is. Okay. And that, I know, I know it's, it's, you didn't think that it was true because they tried to fool you when you was growing up and try to make you think that you was the retarded one. They tried to make you think you was the slow one because you was creative. <laughs> you was creative and innovative. You wanted to create a new paradigm. You wanted to do something totally new. But they wanted to they wanted to shine in front of you and act like they got it going on and shit. But they was the slow ones. But now you see that shit clearly, don't you? Can't you see that clearly? Huh? Can somebody comment below if you see that shit clearly? Say, bit bro, I see it so clearly. They slow. Say it just like that. Look, don't be ashamed to call people slow. If they slow, they slow. Huh? Huh? See, that's what they didn't expect you to do, chosen one. That's what they didn't expect you to do. That's what they don't want you to do. They don't want you to speak how you really feel. They don't want you to fulfill your vision. They don't want you to do what God wanted you, wants you to do. They don't want you to say anything. They want you to just be quiet. Because they know they slow. They know they, they know they dumb down. They dumb down. They brainwashed, folks. Folks, I don't know why y'all be getting, people be calling me big bro, big bro. Is it, is it the big do we do we do I don't know what I did. I'm like, calm down. Good little grasshopper, calm down. They be angry when they be calling me because they be, see, y'all be letting the Decepticons get y'all attention. Y'all be letting the Decepticons get y'all attention. They, they, some, my homegirl called me the other day. They, 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 throw, they, they, they did three rituals. They did three rituals in plain sight. And I'm like, baby girl, why would you have to take the pictures of them? Mm. <laughs> what they do that at? <laughs> Let these dummies suffer. Let them go through their own hardships that they manifesting for themselves. They slow. They dumb down. Look, folks, when it come to your vision, when it come to your dream, don't expect most people out here to be able to understand it. Nine times out of ten, they ain't got shit going for themselves anyway. Bruh, don't expect these girls to really fall in love with you the way that you want them to. I know, I know, I know. You don't really want them to be in love with you. You know, you don't really want her to be in love with you. Come here, give me a hug. Give me a kiss. Be like, damn, another one, damn, another hug, shit. Hold my hand in the mouth while we walk. No, I can't hold your hand. There's some other girls in here. I'm trying to get the, get the attention too. I can't hold your hand while I'm in the mall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Folks, listen, bro. She never, she's so slow. She never going to understand your vision because she don't got a vision for herself. You feel me? So she never gonna really love you the way that you want her to love you. She never gonna be your main chick. She never gonna be your main chick. Only thing she gonna do, she gonna get close to you. She gonna smell what you got on. <laughs> she gonna go to your Instagram, look at all your pictures. You know how they scan that shit. They scan that shit. They, the Decepticon women scan that shit. I'm reading it, reading it. Reading that shit. Then, that's how she's going to act based on how you present yourself on social media. 
Then next thing he gonna do, the next thing she gonna do, guess what she gonna go? Y'all already know what she gonna go. To the hill. She gonna run to them hills and go to that lonely ass cabin where it's cold, where they be shivering because they gotta sleep in the bed by themselves at night. <laughs> then she gonna wake up in the morning and she gonna pull them down with knuckles out and see if you still shining. He ain't shining that hard. He's shining, at, he's shining at the same level that when I met him. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to stay up here. I'm going to shiver some more. <laughs> but as soon as your ass get a big blessing, she's going to pull them binoculars out one day. As soon as you get a big blessing, she's going to see. She's going to say, oh, shit. I see a whole lot of people. Uh, what? whole lot of people getting his attention. Let me go put my clothes on and go back out there. I'm telling you, that's how these Decepticons do, folks. People is not going to fuck with you until they see you got a bigger blessing than them. The whole time these Decepticons is sitting around, you might think they're not looking at you. You might think nobody care about what you're doing in life. You might feel like you're the only one that's just trying to trying to, trying to, to make something happen for yourself. Don't you feel like that sometimes? Don't you feel kind of lonely? Like, I'm trying to show people what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to let people know that I'm doing this and... I'm doing that and I got this going on, but it seems, it seems like they just don't care. What should I do? Can you please tell me what should I do? I mean, I look good. I'm, I'm gorgeous. I just got a manicure yesterday and I, don't I look good? I just went and bought two packs of weave and they're the highest quality. So it should last me, I think about two weeks. So I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong. Can you please, uh, what that word? That the spiritual people use. Can you please enlighten me? Baby, look. Look, listen. People ain't never gonna give you the credit until you get a bigger blessing than them. When people, when people looking from that damn hill at the binoculars at you, they looking to see if you getting a bigger blessing than them. You know what I mean? See, you don't, you probably don't got no car. You probably don't drive or nothing. You probably don't got no house that you own or something. They got a house. This is how they Decepticons think. They, they slow. I told you, they materialistic. They worldly beings. You feel me? So they, they say, you see, you ain't got no man. You ain't got no man. She got a man. I'm sorry. You single. She don't think that you worthy. She don't think that you worthy because you don't got no man. You ain't, matter of fact, you ain't never, ever even had a ring on your finger at all. Do you know how it feels to have a ring on your middle finger? Do you know how it feels to make your, do you know how it feels to be out in public with that ring on your finger and just be doing like that? You don't know how that shit feels. You don't know the weight of a diamond on your damn left hand. You don't know the weight. But guess what? She do. She do. And, and even though the man that she with is cheating on her, it don't matter to her. She happy because she she can say that she married and you ain't. And she gonna hold that shit up in your face like a damn headline news. Bitch, I'm married. You ain't. Period. I don't give a damn if he's cheating on me or not. I'm in this damn house. I'm holding this mother down. Huh? You ain't got no house. But that's how these Decepticons think. That's how these Decepticons think. They always looking into your life to see if you're doing better than them. Okay? To see if you're getting a bigger blessing than them because the shit that they receiving and what they getting for the, out of somebody else or something. Nine times out of ten, the Decepticons codependent on somebody else. But they want to act like, they want to show it and act like they doing all this shit by themselves. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Can I get an A? Can I get a W? Can I get an E? Can I get an S? I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm, bitch, bitch, you using somebody else's money to buy all that damn weave. Stop fronting. Stop fronting. You smashing the photographer. The photographer is smashing you. Stop fronting. You ain't, you ain't got no money to pay for no photographer for them damn fancy Instagram pictures. You is sleeping with the photographer. Photographer, whatever the fuck his name is. He, you already know that. You know that he is. But that's what these Decepticons do. But lo and behold, lo and behold, oh my God, when that day, when that great day of the Lord happens, when the Lord comes back, oh, lo, woe unto them. That day when you get that big breakthrough, the day when you get that big blessing, you will notice how the shit will go from cold to hot 
and immediately. You will notice how people start calling. See, you know how people is. They funny. They slow. They slow. The Decepticons are slow. You know what I mean? They play, they play like they super, super smart, but they really slow because you can see through them with the spirit of discernment the whole time. You can just see straight through their they whole illusion. Bro, all thing you got to do, bro, is go take a picture with a fly girl. Go take a picture with a girl that look real good like Paris Hilton or some shit. Just, just tell her. Take a picture with me. I just want to put you on my Instagram, baby. You look good. All the girls out there... Who, who you know that you don't try to holler at and you got their Instagram, I can guarantee you, bro. You take that picture and you post that picture on that very day of the Lord. The Lord says, everybody who does it, does it you wrong, all the girls is going to come back after you. It, see, they're going to wait. They're going to wait for a while. They're going to see you post that picture. They're going to say, oh, this is a new, this is a new chick. You know, they, they, you know, this is a new chick. This is a new chick. Okay, okay, okay. They're going to be studying you. Oh, my God. Lo and behold, when they see the happiness come over him, for the next few pictures after you that you post, bro, they coming back. You know, they're going to send you a message. You know you wrong for that. You're like, what the hell are you talking about? It's Thursday. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Like, what? You don't even talk to me. I'm not even your girlfriend. You know you wrong for that. Bum, she's going to hit you in the DM. Now, I don't like that white bitch. I don't like that white bitch. You know you supposed to be my man. I don't know why you supposed to be my man. I don't like that shit that you do. You need to come and get me right now. You know I need the new shoes. You know, bum, she gonna go call you. Everybody is gonna call you folks when you start getting, when you get a big blessing. See, they quiet now. Because they don't think that you gonna make it. They don't think that you gonna be successful. You know what I mean? They don't think that you really gonna be on television one day. They don't think that you really gonna have a record deal one day. They don't think that your business is going to flourish. They don't think that you're going to be the, the, the first, another stripper that comes out of the strip club and like be the big time chick like Cardi B or some shit. Or, you know what I mean? They don't think it's ever going to happen. So in the midst of you on your, on your journey, in the midst of you grinding like you have been, you know what I mean? They're going to be quiet as mice. But don't you notice, haven't you noticed in the past, every time you get a breakthrough, every time you get a large sum of money, Every time somebody, you know, bless you with something and you get it or whatever, it's like they, they, it's like they notice. It's like they notice it. Oh shit, don't start wearing no fly shit. They gonna compare how you look today and how you look yesterday. They gonna call your phone. Your, your uncle gonna call your phone. What's up, babe? What's up, niece? How you doing? Now your uncle done heard about you through his wife, and through your other cousin, cousin. So he, he can't get on social media. He's too damn old. But he heard about you. He heard about the blessing that God has given you. See, folks, when you get a, one thing you got to understand about when you get a blessing from God, that shit, that shit spreads like a wildfire. People see, people know, people talk, okay? They're going to come to you. They're going to come to you because the the worst thing, the worst thing to experience is the revenge from somebody being successful. So I'm gonna call back. You know, you know I'm making fish tonight. You invited anytime. Oh, I just wanted to reach out to you, baby, and let you know we're making fish tonight. We got some slaw and some beans. And you always invited. Don't be no stranger now. You know, I'm the stranger. I'm, I'm been a damn stranger the whole time. Don't be no stranger now. Now, call me if you ever need anything. All right. I love you, God. God is good, ain't he? All right. Yeah, I just called. I just called. Her. Yeah. He talking to people now. When his aunt got on the phone, he could talk to everybody. Yeah, I just called. Her. Yeah, we're going to get some of that money. We're going to get some of that money. Yeah. I, I, she she believed me. She believed me. Oh, we ain't do that. At? Listen. That's how these Decepticons be. They quiet while you on your grind. They quiet while you going through the struggle. They don't call you. They don't text you. They don't talk to you. Nobody liking your pictures. Nobody reading your story. But that moment that you get a huge blessing, people going to come from out the mountains. They going to come from out the woods. They gonna, you remember me? You don't remember me? You don't remember me? Yeah, you remember me, man? Come on, man. You know, we was, we was buddies back in, uh, oh, you mean we went back to Michigan? And yeah, back there, yeah, you remember I took your number down, bro. I've been wanting to hit you up the whole time. Nigga, please. You 
you just hit me up because you seen I got on some Versace shoes. That's all. You just hit me up because you seen I got on some designer shit. And I got on some Versace shoes. Huh? Where they do that at? Folks, you got to get used to it. That's why I say these Decepticons are slow. The only thing you need to be doing. Listen, that's why I always tell y'all, man. Stop telling people your next moves. Just do it. You don't need nobody to validate you. You don't need nobody to vouch for you for nothing. Stop wanting attention from people that don't want to give it to you because they in competition with you. I don't understand that shit. I still just don't understand people that want the... I don't understand people that seek attention from people that don't like them. What are you performing for? Is it is it to get a check? Or is you just doing it for like brownie points and likes? I don't, I don't understand. Stop expecting... Stop expecting people, you know what I mean, to, to, to give you some type of validation or some type of recognition or to say, uh, a good job, man, you're doing awesome. You, they never going to say that shit. They don't want, they hate, people hate to see you doing better than them. They want you to do good. Now, they can tell you, you do good, you keep God first. They'll tell you all that religious shit. Keep God first. Hey, God, keep God. You know, keep God first. And the Lord in your heart and all this and that. Same people that say that shit be the same people that don't respect your hustle. Hypocrites. Same people that tell you, same people that tell you to keep the faith be the same people that can't believe that you actually using the faith and actually becoming successful. Same damn people. Same damn people. Hold on, where they do that at? Mad at you when you get some money, but believe in the same God as you. I don't just don't understand these religious scholars. I don't understand them. Huh? Listen, we coming in the church and kicking shit over. We kicking it over. We kicking that, that shit out of here. Huh? Where they do that at? It's your big bro trend, man. Listen. Y'all got to say it with me one more time, man. Listen. Stop looking for people to say good job. Stop looking for people to say you the shit, bro. Bro, just know it within yourself. Everywhere you go, just be confident within yourself. Stop telling people, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Is this good or is that good? They are slow, folks. These people are disabled mentally. Half the whole damn world is sleep. They are under a spell. Shit, they about to go into the damn metaverse. What that shit called? The uh, metaverse or some shit? Metroverse? They about to put these people into a metric metaverse. They so damn sleep and slow. You the only one that's still living. You the life of the party. You the life for your family. <laughs> you know what I mean? They believing in you. You the best thing smoking. You the only thing that they got left. Shit, everybody else is about to die. Huh? They people, I'm telling y'all folks, people energy is so damn low. People's energy and vibration is so low, they never going to be able to survive in the fifth dimension. They still own 2D. T people still own 3D. I turned on the news and I'm looking at a fucking so-called war with Ukraine and Russia. I'm like, damn, people is still trying to invade people? These people still living in a fucking 2D, 3D world, folks. They don't got no fucking soul. What's his name? Putin, 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 whatever his name is. These people are dumb, folks. So I'm just telling, I'm just making this video to let y'all know, man. Listen, people gonna always ignore you, okay? They gonna always ignore your hustle. They never gonna give you no credit. But I can guarantee you this: if you keep going, you keep word focusing on yourself, minding your business. You don't need to tell people that what you about to do and shit. Just do that shit. Just do it. You know what I mean? Just go and do it. You don't have to get no approval. Can I get, mama, can you uh, sign this permission slip? You don't need no damn permission slip for your mama. Just go, shit. Go, 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 go. Huh? Where they do that at? Huh? Where they do that at? Huh? Where they do that at? Huh? Shit. Just go, folks. Just do you. Do you and focus on you. And I can guarantee you, when, when them blessings start rolling in, Everybody who didn't believe in you, everybody who you came in contact with, 
everybody who God put you in front of. It's going to be people that come back up into your life when you start getting blessed. Like after this video, when you start getting blessed, because I know after this video, you're going to get blessings. When you start getting blessed, it's going to be people that come into your life who you forgot. But they were still watching you the whole entire time to see if you was doing better than them. That's how much of an impact you made on them. That's how much anointing you got. That's how that's how good your spirit was when you came in contact with them. But they denied you three times for some coins. They denied you because you didn't give her a bag. She denied you because you weren't going to pay her for the verification. Of. Where they do that shit at? Huh? Continue to suffer, Decepticons. Cause guess what? We gonna be we gonna be living, popping bottles, drinking alkaline water, energy on us, shining. That's what we do for a living. We, that's the only thing the chosen ones are here to do is to outshine these niggas that kept us down for all these years. Well, guess what? It's a new day. You smell it? It smell good, don't it? And the last shall be the first, and the first shall be the last. Huh? Everybody that was in front of you, everybody that told you you weren't going to never achieve nothing, everybody that ignored you, well, guess what God said? God said, I'm about to bless you. I'm about to make these blessings rain down on you. The floodgates of heaven is open. Yes, I'm about to bless you. Huh? And everybody who did you wrong, everybody who didn't believe in you, they didn't believe in me because I put my spirit inside you. And guess what? They're going to have to sit back and they're going to have to be in the rafters. They're going to have to be in the bleachers. They're going to have to watch you get blessings. And guess what? They're going to come to you and they're going to be looking for a job. They're going to come to you and they're going to say, man, you still my cousin, ain't you? Hey, what's up, cuz? You on the cuz? I'm the only one that believed in you, cuz. Man, I was, I was kind of quiet, cuz. I was kind of quiet, you know. You know, but everybody else was talking shit, cuz. For me. Man, I always believe in you. I read about you in the newspaper and shit. What cool? I knew it, cool. I knew it, cool. Cool. You gonna come, come fuck with me, cool? You can fuck with me anytime, fuck. Cool. Come on, man. Come hang around me, man. That's my cousin right though. That's my cousin. That tree right though. Yeah, that's my cousin tree right though. That big bro right though. <laughs> it's your big bro tree and genius, man. I told you if you stay tuned to the end of this video, big bro got something really special for you. Now, like I said in my video yesterday, I know a lot of y'all see repeating numbers, okay? I only had a few people to actually get the repeated numbers course. Man, y'all need to get that shit. I'm telling you, man, these numbers are going to drive you crazy, okay? You got to get the information. Get the repeating numbers course today, folks. Super inexpensive. It's at the very bottom in the top comment section. It said trend repeating numbers course. If you want to see videos that don't nobody get to see on YouTube, well, I'm talking about how to use these numbers to your advantage. All right. It helped me. Look at me. y'all. I, I ain't the richest man in the world, but I'm doing better than I was when I used to fucking lay in my bed at my cousin's house with fucking lint in my pocket. I'm doing way better than then. I'm doing way better when I was sleeping in my Mercedes and when I had all comforters in the back and I used to have to stay behind Walmart and shit. Huh? It works. So the same thing that worked for me, I'm just recycling it to give it back to you. So if you want to know how to use these repeating numbers to your advantage, get my repeating numbers course right now at the very bottom in the top of the comment section. Just go ahead and click that link and just get that repeating numbers course, man. It'll help you understand why you're seeing these numbers so much. Other than that, remember what I said, folks. People will always ignore your, your hustle. They never going to give you the credit. But the moment... God start blessing you in front of their face. That's when they're going to start coming back into your life and try to play that damn mind game like they always was there. They always believed in you. They didn't never believe in you, folks. Don't feel sorry. Don't feel sorry for them. They never believed in you. But they're going to try to play a role with you from this point on out. And they're going to try so hard to get back on your good side and try to make you think that they was always there for you. They was never there for you. It was strangers like me who didn't know you that was there for you. Huh? Hey, I can't make this shit up, man. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's your big bro, Trans Genius. Check out some of my other videos like these two right here. In the meantime, I'm out.